this is Andres, Senior Account Executive here at uh, Ample Market, and really looking forward to give you a tour of our platform and highlight some of the differentiators that actually drove me to leave one of our competitors, Apollo, and join Ample Market. So once we're in the home, I'm going to highlight one aspect that is missing from CRM data, and that is what the heck is going on with our LinkedIn activity? Are people accepting our connection requests? Are we sending messages? We all know if it's not in the CRM, it technically didn't happen. Well, we can actually track that activity and push it into your CRM to see how efficient LinkedIn is a channel, is as a channel. But now let's start with the initial part of the workflow, which usually begins with identifying your ICP, ideal buyer persona, et cetera. And some of the filters that I want to highlight is job change alerts in which we can actually track when your champions are moving within companies. We'll let you know if they change jobs or if they were recently promoted. So the people, champions that were recently promoted are gonna be up here and you're gonna be able to follow them into their new role, into their new company and actually open new business that way. Another really interesting filter is buying intent and we are completely different to any other provider out there. You give us your list of competitors and we're gonna show you the exact person engaging with their competitor and when was that detected. This can include multiple engagement on their LinkedIn. This can include that they're actually connecting with sales reps from, their, um, from the competitor. So I know exactly who's engaging with some info at this time. Easily select them and enroll them into a sequence that's going to be focused on taking business from some info and opening up the doors for them to consider ample market. And a common filter that most tools have are personas, which obviously are going to quicken up the process of identifying your ideal prospects so that your team doesn't have to be inputting a bunch of different filters every time that they're prospecting. We also have some of the common filters such as job titles. We can actually track job changes on our whole database. So we'll let you know who has changed jobs, who has been promoted, not only based on your current accounts, not only based on champions, but literally out of everyone in our data set, which is being, up to, which is being updated at a much quicker pace than any of our other, than any of our competitors or any of the other providers. One of my favorite filters is keywords, and this is on the personal level. So let's say that I have 6,822 people that meet my persona criteria and that recently changed jobs. I can enter a keyword here, such as, for example, sports. Ample Market is going to let us know out of all of this list of people who has in their about section on LinkedIn actually typed in sports. This actually helped me book a meeting if reps are comfortable talking about a specific sports team um, because they are parents as well, because they're a girl dad. You can include those here and have an easy hook to actually engage with them in a sequence. Some of the other filters that we have are LinkedIn networks. So if you actually wanna tap into your first degree connections, you can do that, and then this is going to bring down uh, the list of contacts that meet this specific persona that are in your LinkedIn network. Add them into sequences, maybe a LinkedIn-only sequence, low-hanging fruit. Some of the other filters that I find very helpful, and I consider them as a differentiator, hubs. So actually, let me clear this, and let me clear this. But let's say that I want to prospect people that were part of Y Combinator or Fortune 500. Those are the types of hubs that you're gonna be able to tap into. Uh, so based on the persona that I've put in, I have 459 contacts that work for 11 companies that were Y Combinator backed. <clears throat> Another really helpful filter is events. You can actually 
filter by events or conferences and companies that are attending those events and conferences, job openings, employee headcount, technologies, locations, company type, industries. We are mapped to LinkedIn industries, so we have a much more granular industry uh, filter, which is much more, um, much more accurate. Once you've identified the contacts, select them and enroll them into a sequence, giving your team much more efficiency and not having to build list, import, export, upload, and then act upon that. That's if we want to prospect from within the Ample Market platform. However, we can also prospect out of LinkedIn. And this is one of my favorite plays. Let's say that I go to one of my competitors, I go to their posts, I can export the leads that interacted with a specific post. This is gonna bring them to my Ample Market Searcher. I can filter them based on the criteria that I wanna target. I can make sure that, I ex that they're excluded from any of my exclusion lists, export the leads, and then create a sequence that's a play on one of our competitors. This can also be done not only on posts, it can also be done on ads. Why not tap into your competitor's marketing budget and see who is interacting with their ads and then open the door for them to consider you as an alternative. This could also be done based on groups and events. So let's say, sales enablement and i'm going to go into a specific event on linkedin if i attend any of these events i'm going to be able to export the list of attendees and then enroll them into a sequence hey notice that you are going to attend ai driven sales coaching for revenue growth i'm actually attending that as well and would it make sense to bounce a couple of ideas um, on how we're actually leveraging AI to improve sequencing, to improve enablement, to improve coaching within the messaging that you're sending on your outreach campaigns. And this could also be leveraged on groups. Now, the second part of the workflow, once you've acted upon this data, is enroll them into sequences. Once you've enrolled them into specific sequences, there's no limit to the number of sequences that you can create. There is no limit to the number of steps within a sequence. Um, let me, uh, let me search here. And this is one type of sequence. We obviously have dynamic variables to help you personalize at scale. But this could also be an AI generated email in which you're gonna control your value propositions, the tonality, you're gonna to be able to control if you wanna be friendly, concise, if you wanna short emails, if you wanna show them that you know them type of emails. And I'll kind of show you what that looks like in a second. You can continue adding steps within a sequence, phone calls, emails, and the different types of steps that you can include are emails, Profile visits, follows, LinkedIn like last post, LinkedIn connection request, and LinkedIn text messages or DMs, these are fully automated. You can fully automate this, and this is going to help because usually SDRs, BDRs, AEs, they have a bottleneck when it comes to executing LinkedIn tasks. By doing this, you're actually going to increase their efficiency. And then these are two types of steps that are very, very different that are some of my favorites. So if I go into a specific profile on LinkedIn, if I'm connected to the person, I can actually send them a video message that's gonna land on their DM. No link, a direct video messaging so that you humanize the sales prospecting process. Hey Mika, usually sales teams are not leveraging video prospecting to book new meetings. Would your team find sending videos like this helpful? to generate more meetings, send a message and it lands directly on their DM. You can also do voice messages as well. This is one of my favorites. I actually booked five meetings in the past couple of weeks just using this and I'm not doing heavy prospecting. Now that we're here, 
This is, we also empowered this AI generated email. This is really, really helpful. And think of it not necessarily as a way for Ample Market to just send like a bunch of AI generated emails, but I like to think of it as an assistant, an executive assistant that's actually going to provide the research that I can leverage to draft an email. Normally, teams or people or reps are spending anywhere between 20 to 35 minutes to draft one personalized email. Most of that lifting is done on the research. Here, based on the person's profile, we know that Michael was a founder on Fermat's library. Notice that they transitioned from academic papers at Fermat's library to revolutionizing sales with ample market, value prop, CTA. This can be fully modified so that you can include PS, whatever. You can copy this email and you can send it as a one-off email, as a direct message, or if this is a step within your sequence, a task is going to be created and your team is going to review the emails, they can modify and then they can send it. If I'm not fully satisfied with this, I can try another email. Now I'm going to have two emails that are going to be looking at profile interests, profiles activity, company interests, company activity within LinkedIn. So we noticed that they're interested in Saster. As a fellow Saster enthusiast, whatever you want to draft, if you want to copy this and Frankenstein your own email, go ahead and do it. So those are some of the ways in which we can leverage sequencing within um, or AI within sequences or within LinkedIn in ample market with all of this information being reflected directly on your CRM. Now let's go back to the sequence itself. <clears throat> we have a built-in dialer and then all of this is going to be reflected on reports that not only are going to show you, you know, like generic data, but it could also bring revenue into the picture. How much revenue is our pipeline generating? How much revenue are specific sequences generating? Now, we all know that building lists, ascending sequences, they're all part of our day to day. However, it all comes to waste if we don't have healthy domains. Ample Market allows you to connect multiple domains so that you can protect your main domain. We have an email warm-up that actually has natural conversations on your behalf with people that are in our contributory network to ensure that your emails are properly warmed up, that you have all the correct settings and configurations and authentications to ensure that you avoid spam lists, that you avoid um, getting blocked by Google, by Outlook. And we also take care of your outbox to inbox ratio. This is very, very helpful, specifically um, because if the amount of emails that you're sending far exceeds the amount of emails that you're receiving, then the chances of you getting blocked as spam are going to go way higher. We'll also notify you if one of your mailboxes is being unhealthy and you add a contact to a sequence and you're about to sequence them from that mailbox, we'll actually notify you and give you the option to choose another mailbox. Now, because we have the data and we have the engagement, we're also going to be able to create a variety of different workflows to automate some of those repetitive tasks. One of those workflows, here, let's wait for that to load. Hey, if anyone that said hard no, let's, you know, like add them into a nurture sequence. Actually, that's a really bad idea. Never mind. But let's say someone is not is out of office. We will automatically stop the sequence for them and we can enroll them and we can automatically continue the sequence when they're back. If they've shared an alternative contact that we can reach out to, we can actually engage with them. These are some of the workflows, but also we have inbound workflows. For example, every time that a new opportunity is created, let's have one of our founders or let's have the rep who's the account owner automatically send a connection request for them or let's automatically add them into a sequence. Everyone that 
you know, is in a specific report within Salesforce, let's enroll them into a sequence. Anyone that um, reach a specific stage, we can automatically enroll them into sequences. Here, choose an action, trigger a sequence, select the sequence that you want to add them to, and Ample Market's going to automate a lot of those repetitive tasks. Someone um, just left a demo, and I'm going to add them into a reply sequence. Those types of triggers can be activated through our workflows. Now, one of my favorite use cases as well is you can create AI replies. This is very helpful, especially if you're ramping up new reps that may take some time to handle objections as replies to any of the sequences. For example, how do we compare to any of the competitors? Comparison to any competitors will detect when the reply has any sentiment that is asking you to compare them to the competitors and we'll respond to that. And I'll show you what that looks like. Um, how are you better than outreach? And then what this looks like on the inbox is we're gonna pre-draft emails on your behalf. Sounds interesting. Can you share one pager summarizing the product and suggest a few slots next week? Absolutely. Here's a summary pager and a sales deck to give you a quick overview to make scheduling easy. You can pick a slot that works best in it, send the message. I can actually include them in a follow-up sequence right here, and I can modify this. I can add more steps into the sequence directly from here. But you log in into your Gmail, and you have all of these pre-drafted responses based on the value propositions and the prompts that you give Ample Market, and you can modify this as necessary. If, you actually, if we actually go back, we can see how we're also tagging the sentiment of the responses that you're getting from your sequences. And that's Ample Market in a nutshell. It's gonna make your team much more efficient by combining several sales tools into one. It's powered by AI, so it's gonna help you provide much more intelligence into it. And it's going to provide very interesting signals on how to prospect both champions that change jobs, um, people that are engaging with your competitors, people that are part of specific hubs or company types that are maybe relevant to your territory. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Hopefully this was helpful and look forward to having you evaluate Ample Market. Bye.